హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ సిమాస్ నాండ్ గేట్ సిమాస్ నాండ్ గేట్ is the fundamental building blocks in digital electronic circuits first let us understand what is a nand gate nand gate is nothing but not and gate so it is a combination of and gate and not gate so nand gate is nothing but not and gate so we can say nand gate is a digital logic gate which is the combination of and gate and not gate so it will perform and operation with not operation so why nand gate is important nand gate is important because nand gate is an universal gate if we say universal gate which means nand gate can be used to create any logic function in a digital circuits so nand gate is an universal gate which can be used to create any logic function first let us understand how a two input nand gate is constructed using cmos technology a two input nand gate using cmos technology consists of two important networks first network is pull down network which is also known as pdn this pull down network performs and function so this network performs and operation or and function and it consists of two nmos transistors so here you need to remember this nmos transistor will be on when the gate is applied with logic 1 and this nmos transistor will be off when gate is applied with logic 0 when the gate input is 1 the nmos transistor will be on and when the gate input is zero the nmos transistor will be off since it is a two input nand gate it will take two inputs a and b and it will perform and operation so it will perform a dot b the second network is pull up network which is known as pun this pull up network performs not operation or not function so this network can be designed using pmos transistors here you need to remember this pmos transistor will be on when gate input is equal to zero and it will be off when the input across the gate is equal to one so this network will take two inputs it will perform not function already and function will be performed by pull down network so on this operation the pull up network will perform not function so it will be a dot b whole bar so that can be written as a bar plus b bar this figure shows a cmos nand gate circuit if you look at the circuit you can understand we are having two pmos transistors that are connected in parallel and it has two nmos transistors that are connected in series so both the transistors are having the input as a and b the output y connects the vdd through the pmos transistor and it connects the ground through nmos transistor before going to working of the circuit you need to remember nmos will be on only when the inputs are one and it will be zero when the inputs are zero and pmos will be on when the inputs are zero and it will be off when the inputs are one now let us understand the working of nand gate circuit so this truth table represents the operation of this circuit we have two inputs a and b since we are having two inputs there are four combinations of input that can be applied which is zero 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 one 1 0 and 1 1 when the inputs are 0 0 both nmos will be off and both pmos transistor will be on that's why the vdd will flow through this transistor and it will be available at the output that's why output will be equal to 1 when a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 transistor n1 will be off 
and n2 will be on and p1 will be on and p2 will be off. Since the transistor p1 is on, the VDD will be available at the output through the PMOS transistor p1. That's why output will be equal to 1. When a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0, transistor n1 will be on and transistor n2 will be off. Here p1 will be off and transistor p2 will be on. That's why the VDD will be available at the output through transistor p2. The output will be equal to 1. Now in the last combination of input, when a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1, at that case, both the transistor N1 and N2 will be on and the transistors P1 and P2 will be off. So, the ground will be available across the output Y through the transistor N1 and N2. Hence, the output will be equal to 0. So, this is the truth table that represents the operation of CMOS NAND gate circuit. So, if you observe the output, this output is similar to NAND gate operation. Hence, we have designed the NAND gate through CMOS circuit using NMOS and PMOS transistors. The NAND gate that is designed using CMOS technology has few advantages. The first advantage is the circuit will provide full voltage swing. If we say full voltage swing, there will be always a path for VDD as well as ground to reach the output ensuring full logic levels which means we will be having a full voltage swing at the output. The second advantage is no ratioing is required. So if we say no ratioing is required, the size of the transistors does not have any effect on the operation of the circuit. Hence the design will be simple. No static power dissipation. Since there is no direct path for VDD as well as ground towards output, there will be less static power dissipation that minimizes the power consumption. So these are the advantages of NAND gate that is designed using CMOS technology. Now let us understand the multiple input NAND gate. Instead of two inputs, a NAND gate can be designed with multiple inputs as shown in this figure. As you can observe, we have multiple PMOS transistors that are connected in parallel and multiple NMOS transistors that are connected in series. Since we are connecting multiple transistors, the output of NMOS will be Y is equal to A dot B dot C dot and so on up to N and the operation of PMOS will be not function of this equation. So, the output will be y is equal to a dot b dot c dot and so on up to n whole bar. So, this can be written as y is equal to a bar plus b bar plus c bar plus and so on up to n bar. Since we are having n number of PMOS transistors and n MOS transistors. So, if you observe the equation, if we are having two input NAND gate, we will be having the operation as A bar plus B bar. If we are having multiple input, at that case, it will be A bar plus B bar plus C bar and so on up to N bar. So, the number of terms will be equal to number of inputs that are connected. So, this is the representation of NAND gate with two inputs A and B and output Y. The operation can be written as Y is equal to A dot B whole bar. Finally, we can say the CMOS NAND gate is a fundamental building blocks of digital logic design. It offers low power dissipation, full voltage swing and it will provide scalability. So, due to these advantages, the NAND gate is favorite in efficient circuit design in VLSI. This is about NAND gate design using CMOS technology. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.